Continuing with Babylon and her destruction, Jeremiah 50, verse 13. Because of the wrath of the Lord, it shall not be inhabited, and it shall be wholly desolate. Everyone that goes by Babylon shall be astonished and hiss at all her plagues. Put yourself in array against Babylon round about. All you that bend the bow, shoot at her, spare no arrows, for she has sinned against the Lord. Shout against her round about. She has given her hand, her foundations are fallen, her walls are thrown down, for it is the vengeance of the Lord. Take vengeance upon her. As she has done, do it unto her. Verse 20. And in those days, and in that time, when this comes to pass now, at the end time, in those days and at that time, says the Lord, the iniquity of Israel shall be sought for, and there shall be none, and the sins of Judah, and they shall not be found, for I will pardon them whom I reserve. Have the sins of Israel? Can you still find the sins in the nations of Israel? Can you still find sins in the people of Judah? Of course you can. The sins are mounting up more and more each day, each week, each month, each year. We, have, we are a sin-laden nations. The Western world nations, the Israelite nations of the Western world, and the state of Israel, the Jews there in the Holy Land, are full of sins and iniquity. But the day will come when you will not be able to find sins in Israel and Judah. That is yet to take place. Verse 22. A sound of battle is in the land, and of great destruction. How is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken? Yes, this Babylon beast power with Germany leading it is going to be like a hammer on this earth, but it's going to be broken. It will be cut asunder and broken. How is Babylon become a desolation among the nations? Because it will look so great and it will look so wonderful and so powerful and so righteous but how could it possibly be destroyed verse 29 call together the archers against babylon all you that bend the bow come camp against round about her let none thereof escape recompense her according to her works according to all that she has done do unto her for she has been proud against the Lord, against the Holy One of Israel. Therefore shall her young men fall in the streets, and all her men of war shall be cut off in that day, says the Lord. Verse 41. Behold, a people shall come from the north, a great nation. And this is going to be Russia, my friends. This will be Russia as it was in the Second World War. A great people shall come from the north. A great nation and many kings shall be raised up from the coasts of the earth. They shall hold the bow and the lance. They are cruel and will not show mercy. This could include some others as well. It certainly will be Russia. It could include China. Maybe it could include Pakistan possibly India, but whatever this power will certainly be Russia from the north, and they will show no mercy. Their voice shall roar like the sea, and they shall ride upon horses, everyone put in array like a man to the battle against you, O daughter of Babylon. Verse 46, at the noise of the taking of Babylon, the earth is moved. And the cry is heard among the nations. Chapter 51. Thus says the Lord, 
Behold, I will raise up against Babylon and against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me a, a destroying wind and will send upon Babylon fanners that shall fan her and shall empty her land. For in the day of trouble, for in the day of trouble at the end of this age, they shall be against her round about. It is indeed at the end of this age, as Jesus talked about in the Gospels, the great tribulation to come upon this earth at the end time, during the last 42 months of the end of this age that the book of Revelation talks about. Jeremiah 51 verse 7, Babylon has been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunk of her wine and the nations are mad. This mystery Babylon the Great spoken about in Revelation has deceived this whole world. Her teachings, her teachings have deceived this world. Her practices, though they look on the outside like a golden cup, though they looked righteous, they are deception. They have deceived the nations of this earth with many false religious doctrines and customs and practices. She will be destroyed for it. Verse 24. And I will render unto Babylon and to all the inhabitants of the Chaldea all their evil that they have done in Zion in your sight, says the Lord. Behold, I am against you, O destroying mountain, says the Lord, which destroys all the earth. I will stretch out my hand upon you and roll you down from the rocks and will make you a burnt mountain. Verse 29, and the land shall tremble and sorrow for every purpose of the Lord shall be performed against Babylon to make the land of Babylon a desolation without an inhabitant. So is going to be the great destruction from the North country, from Russia onto Europe. The Babylon of Europe will be laid, destroyed and bare. Verse 33, for thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, the daughter of Babylon is like a threshing floor. It is time to thresh her yet a little while, and the time of her harvest will, shall come. Verse 37, and Babylon shall come to heaps, a dwelling place for dragons and an astonishment and a hissing without an inhabitant. Over to verse 53. Though Babylon should mount up to heaven, and though they should fortify the heights of her strength, yet from me shall spoilers come unto her, says the Lord. Verse 54. A sound of a cry comes from Babylon, and great destruction from the land of the Chaldeans. Verse 56. Because the spoiler is come upon her, even upon Babylon, and her mighty men are taken. Every one of their bones is broken. The Lord God of recompense shall surely require it. Babylon will be destroyed. There is coming an end time. Babylon, over to the book of Revelation. The book of Revelation in chapter 18, notice how some of these words are so much like the words that we read in Isaiah. Get the right page here. That we read in Isaiah. Revelation chapter 18, verse 2. And he cried mightily with a strong voice. This is, uh, uh, after these things I saw, verse 1, an angel. This is an angel crying out with a mighty strong voice saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen twice, originally and at the end time, the end time Babylon. Babylon is fallen, is fallen, and has become the habitation of demons and the hold of every foul spirit and the cage of every unclean and hateful bird. Just showing you that it's just going to be a terrible place when destruction comes upon it. 
for all the nations have drunk of the whole wine of the wrath of her fornication, her spiritual fornication. And the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, spiritual fornication. And the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. Yes, this European power, this end time Babylon, the Holy Roman Empire will be a mighty trading power. And people will get rich from trading with her. Verse 4, And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that you be not partakers of her sins, that you receive not of her plagues. Britain has come out of her. Other European Israelite nations need to do the same. They need to come out of her. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and God has remembered her iniquities. Reward her, even as she rewarded you, double unto her, according to her work, her works in the cup which she has filled to doubling. And we go on, we can pick it up in verse 7. How much she has glorified herself and lived deliciously, so much torment and sorrow give her. For she said in her heart, I sit a queen and am no widow, and shall see no sorrow. We read that in Isaiah and Jeremiah. There is coming an end time Babylon. Verse 9, And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication, and have lived deliciously with her, shall bewail her and lament her, when they shall see the smoke of her burning, standing afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, the great city Babylon, that mighty city, in one hour, in such a short time, one hour is your judgment come. And the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her, for no man buys her merchandise any more. I guess not. She is going to be destroyed. You can go on and read in verses 15 and through to the rest of the chapter. You can go on and read it about this modern end time Babylon and how it's going to be an astonishment to the world when she is completely destroyed. Going back to chapter 17 of Revelation. Chapter 17, we have also this Babylon talked about. Verse 12, and the ten horns which you saw, ten kings, well, they're going to give their power to this beast person at the end time in, the, in this Babylon to fight Jesus Christ when he comes. But uh, back to verse 3. So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness, and I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet-colored beast full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. There was to be seven resurrections of the Holy Roman Empire. One more is yet to come in Europe. And the woman was arrayed, verse 4, in purple and scarlet color, and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand, full of the abominations and filthiness of her fornication, her spiritual fornication. And upon her head is a name written, Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots. She had daughters that came out of her, and all of those daughters carry some of the traits of the mother in spirituality and religion. Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots, and abominations of the earth. This is what God says to this Babylon, this end time religious Babylon. It has made the world drunk with false doctrines, false teachings, false practices and customs. If this book is still available, A Woman Rides the Beast by Dave Hunt, who is no relation to me, if this book is still available, you need to read it. This book, I believe, is still in print. The two Babylons need to have this one as well. It's very technical. It's uh, kind of hard to read. Very technical uh, expose of the two Babylons, but very important truths contained in this book. Those two books you need to obtain. They will give you the insight into what is coming in Europe when it forms the Babylon mystery religion, the Holy Roman Empire, and how it will bring destruction upon this earth 
how it will lead to the third world war and how people then when all of this happens and it looks like we're going to blow ourselves from the planet jesus christ will return and the world will repent and be ready to to listen to the words of god and be ruled by jesus christ